Jeez. Jeez. The whole world is a stage. And everybody's playing a part. You like this, uh, Corey? Huh? Not afraid. The stage is set. The curtain goes up. The scene is a broken heart. And I believe. Listen, y'all. I'm trying to allow some time to pass. So how y'all doing today? Because I have to let the two-minute mark pass at least before I get into this subject. Y'all already know how we do. But I'm really afraid now because I really didn't know. I didn't know that the other side uh, was as bad off as it is. I don't know what's going to happen during this election time. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. <sighs> okay, people. I got two, two uh, comments, first of all. And this is not going to be a very long video. I don't know what we're going to do, those of us, especially those of us who are born either the last end of the baby boomers. Um, oh, my God. Oh, who come after the baby boomers? Um, I, can't, I can't think right now, but I know one thing. There's a lot of baby boomers who are stunt mad. They mad. And a lot of them, a lot of young people have been dummied down to the point where it's really, 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 really scary. Now, these people are going to vote, okay? And quite frankly, I don't think black people are going to vote no more after all the lies that the uh, Democratic Party had did to us and then just, um, as they always do, take our vote for granted. And it doesn't seem like there's a party that we will feel comfortable in. I would say more of a progressive uh, minded. I don't know, but uh, that has its challenges too. So the thing about it, I think black people need their own party. But we tried that before in uh, in the 60s. And uh, we too much love that burning house that we in to even create something like that. We love the burning house. And a lot of us are going to burn down with it. But what disturbed me, y'all, more than anything, oh, God, was Trump's rally and the people that they talked to. I I, I didn't know. Um, and the only way I can describe it is either untreated mental illness, lack of education. I mean, period. I, 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 um. I, I don't, yeah, lack of education and I would have to say religious delusions. Um, schizophrenia. And I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I mean, because all, all this stuff is untreated. Paranoid schizophrenia. Uh, conspiracy theorists. And to see all so many people gathered at one time in one space when you talk to them, it really further lets me know just how crazy America is. And if y'all think it's not going to be disturbed by from within, let me give you a few examples of what some of these people said at this rally and let you further know how much in trouble we are with these damn people. Okay, because they want to run Donald Trump again in 2024. They won't sit down. This is gaslighting 
um, psychosis at its at the highest form. I kept telling y'all from day one that America was built on narcissism and all that. That's why it's hard for me when I ask people, are they in into mental health? And they don't even know about some of these terms or, um, you know, some of the labels that I guess that they use in this DSM book that describes um, just high conflict behavior. That's the best way to describe it. If, if you don't know anything about that, or if you've never taken psychology, if you've never been to college, then you don't have a clue to what we're dealing with. It's normal to you. I heard some straight up mental illness so much to the point where I am very, very concerned. Um, because I, I, like I said, I already know black people. They, they don't have, we don't have no reason or anybody sane and rational after you see that the democratic party just keep taking us for granted. They make all kinds of promises that they're not go, they, no build back better. No extended child care relief. Just nothing. Just mm -mm, mm -mm. So they can't be allowed to keep getting away with that craziness, right? But I heard some delusions, y'all, that um really made me scary for the other side. Let me give you an example. They said that Joe Biden was assassinated in March of 2019. And the, and, and the Joe Biden we looking at now is a straight up clone hmm. um, that he has an island as well, right next to Jeffrey Epstein's um, island, and his is called what is this called? Um, Water Island. Oh my God! I mean, this stuff is so psychotic. It's 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 so insane that you can't say anything about it. You can't say anything to them. You can just look at them. Like, oh my God, did this person really just say this? Did this person just really say this? Not only did she say this, this one person said, um, lady said that. Donald Trump helped Michael Jackson, John Kennedy Jr., and Princess Diana escape all the madness because the scrutiny was too much. Donald Trump helped them escape. He saved them all. And in fact, Michael Jackson is going to perform at the next inauguration. So when I heard that, no, I'm like, y'all, we got some work to do. And meaning that if we got some work to get away from these, any sane and rational human being can't share a space with somebody like that. These people are off the chain and off they rockers. And I would just prefer that they would sit somewhere alongside themselves, by themselves, and be on delusional island. Look, maybe you should put them on an island. I'm not kidding you guys. Some of these supporters of uh, Donald Trump are really insane. That's the best way to describe it. And that's the way he likes them, because he's insane. And most of the people that follow him Y'all, y'all can't, y'all, y'all can't have much minds. He, this is insane. Who could follow somebody like that? I'm done. I'm done. Cause if you do, you crazy. You're so damn gone and it ain't funny. I gotta go.